Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Where do comets and where do they come from? Comets are smaller cousins of asteroids. Okay, pretty much the same process. Break up, like one more break up, one more fragmentary break up, okay, because of collisions. And of course, the other th interesting thing about comets is that the gaseous tails are, are, are distinct. And the solar wind blows the tails, oh, especially when they come close to the sun. So they are what are called as shooting stars? Or the ones which enter the atmosphere. The meteors that enter the atmosphere, they are shooting stars. When they, when they, when they burn up, uh, those are shooting stars. One major difference between comets and asteroids is the location where they come from. Most, most comets seem to come from much farther away in the solar system, uh, yeah. which means they have very elliptical orbits. So they come from an uh, 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 object which is called the Oort cloud, which actually lies well outside Pluto's orbit. Whereas asteroids have concentrated largely in the belt between Mars and uh, Jupiter. Just what is, why should there be a difference between uh, the asteroid belt and the uh, old cloud? I don't think we know whether it's the distance effect or whatever it is. But also the composition is different. Composition is different, Pro perhaps comes from the fact that one is from Not a different really. part of the solar system. And also the meteor impact at the lunar lake, there they have the water which has different composition that of other. So is it related to that impact, the water composition? I mean, I Lona? don't know about Lonar Lake. I mean, I'm not sure. Look, if you go to any two lakes, the composition will be slightly different. So it depends upon how different they are and whether the difference is the kind you would expect from uh, outer outer space. What co what asteroids do have is a higher quantity of nickel, for example. A lot of asteroids have high concentration of nickel, much higher than Earth rocks. In fact, that's one, one way of identifying meteorites which hit the Earth because they have very different composition. Quite possibly there is some trace elements which occur in higher concentration in Lunar Lake and that could be because of so the, the outside. The composition has some elements which have come with the meteor. Could, could be, I, I don't know the answer but it's possible. Why do comets have a tail? Uh, they're quite icy okay. and when they come closer to the sun, uh, there is a solar wind that is coming out from the sun. Like it's, it's basically as he said, the sun's atmosphere is boiling off and going outwards and as as the comet enters into this solar wind some of the uh, ice starts to vaporize and it goes behind as in it goes in the direction opposite to the solar wind so that's i mean that's why they mm. have these days yeah, it's very much like a kite you know the tail of a kite the tail is, is indicative of the direction of the wind in fact that's how the solar wind was discovered except the, the existence of the solar wind was postulated before it was discovered as one of the rare instances. 